<laughs> I like it, how it organically went to the filming of sex scenes. Like all the viewers are going to be like, bonus! This is fantastic! <laughs> and uh, you, you had to make out with a stranger every 20 seconds. Yeah. It certainly felt like that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I feel like every episode, pretty much. It was I mean, a lot. It was a lot. There were times where, uh, you know, character, certain characters would come in and last for a bit, but yeah. no, I'd say for the most part, you're right. Yeah. So when you when you first sign on and you get the script and you're like, all right, my role is a hot, loose lady, did you have to do, like, some research? Like, how did you... Did you have to go out there and be no. a hot, loose lady? No, I feel like... I she mean, made I, plenty. Yeah. And also, yeah, I was young, and I figured, you know what, if I'm going to do this, I should do this now. When right. I, when I feel like I can. Yes. You know, so why not? <laughs> like a little old man over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not like 10 years All ago. Right, Come on. We don't need to tell real. everybody. <laughs> they know. They're going to know. They don't know. They're all 10 years older, too. <laughs> yeah, but, um, exactly. But also, I knew that the show, you know, I, I mean, I don't, I hadn't met Eileen or anybody else yet, but I, I knew that it was being directed by a woman. It was, the show was created by a woman, and I just felt like it would be safe. My instinct said it would yeah. be a safe place to um, explore that sort of thing. Nice. And I was right. You were totally right, and it was super fun to see you make out with 28 Thanks. strangers every 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what, was, what, was like, what was your favorite relationship on the show? Which one did you want to keep for more than a date? You were a horrible person. I don't know about the dates. <laughs> I feel like the dates. She was, I was confused. It was a confusing yeah. time for her. You were kind of an asshole. You may Carmen. Oh. Carmen. 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 It's I like, be. Yeah, I think I gotta say I think so. I think it was Carmen. I think that was awesome. Kind yeah, I wish nice. that kind of I wish her contract didn't expire when it did. <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice for her to stick so around. Cool. And yeah, I've seen you know. Yeah. Did her contract of... expire? Is that something yeah. like that? No, her contract yeah. did expire, yeah. and she's. And she's the type of girl who's like, on to the next one. She doesn't, yeah. you know, she doesn't wait around. So, uh, but if she had, it would have been nice to have had some closure. And we just we got along. Great chemistry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we had great really chemistry. great chemistry. Yeah. And yeah. I have to be honest, I don't know where it came from. We got along really well. Mm-hmm. We didn't like, you know, we came into work. It was like, all right, let's shoot this, let's go, because we both have flights to catch. So don't fuck up. <laughs> I won't fuck up. You won't fuck up, and let's go, go, go. And then we would do it. And that's why our chemistry, I think, was so great because we both just like wanted to get the job done. <laughs> and we didn't fuck around. Like, we didn't waste time yeah. together. Mm-hmm. So that's romantic. Yeah, yeah, very romantic. <laughs> now, like, now they're gonna know that you know. It's great chemistry. We have a flight to catch. Yeah. So yeah. We could but I'm serious. Yeah. I think there was some some romance in it. I mean, Maybe, but not we in very... real life, but that you two both were <laughs> just very... Just make it more romantic. I mean, I, I just really believed lie. your characters, yeah. and I felt yeah. like you knew them, and you told me a lot about them. Yeah, well, I think also because Sarah and I genuinely liked each other. We didn't hang out a lot off, off set, really, at all, because... For whatever reasons, but we really got along. We really respected one another. I think we had like a, you know, mutual sensibility about things, and I guess that's maybe where it stemmed from. Yeah, no, it was it was but, fun. I think that was everybody's favorite. I mean, if you took a poll, mm-hmm. it'd be you and Carmen. For for Shane, uh, hands down, I'm yeah. sure that would win. No, I mean, I'm speaking to you as Shane. Okay, <laughs> are we still there? <laughs> Kate Shane. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call you Kate Shane for the rest of your life. <laughs> I never thought of Shane as an asshole. I don't know. I've never I don't know. Yeah, she was an asshole. Yeah. She was a player. I don't think she was an asshole either. I thought she was just, no. you know, um, she, she was lovable. Yoda. I think, I, th- I, think pe- I think she kind of went by the beat of her own drum, and most mm. people can't relate or understand yeah. or accept that. I thought that she was always strikingly honest yeah. and very honest. Yeah. yeah, she didn't ever. Mm-hmm. I think she was one of the most soulful characters. Yeah. Absolutely, mm-hmm. she never sure. once lied and said she could do something she couldn't. And if she did ever, there was a very seemed to be a very very strong repercussion. I actually thought she was lovely. Like she felt realistic to me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her emotions yeah. felt realistic to me. Yeah. You know, I feel like with yeah. Mia, that, it's that, I feel like with Mia, was, you have had, to you have special. to be on your game, and anyone who yeah. couldn't keep up you is going to be upset and feel threatened yeah. and be nervous. But it's immensely challenging and immensely rewarding. It's like a yeah. great acting. It's kind of like lesson. the Rubik's cube yeah. when you're yeah. doing yeah. your your singles with her. Those say again. Together, the Rubik's cube. Oh, I thought yes, it was she, no, working exactly. with her was a wonderful was acting lesson. Like, yeah, it was I feel like I like learned a lot from it. On, Absolutely, like it's definitely one of the things working with Mia is something that I've taken away. Yeah. And onto other sets to have to try to have that sense of being alive and being mm-hmm. present. She, she keeps know. it fresh. I yeah. feel like every time, you know, you work with her, every take something little would happen. 
or big, but sometimes very, very subtle, but it would at least keep it fresh and keep yeah. it alive. And like ones that she I had can't. a steamer once and I came to her house and she just got it. And you were steaming everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were you steaming? That, 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 that came from a bed in commercial when I was at a hotel at like five in the morning and I couldn't sleep. And I was like, I want that. I could really use it. And I ordered it. And, <laughs> and you steamed away. I steamed everything in that house, yeah. I don't know what happened to it, though. Okay, what about yeah. Leisha? What are Leisha's quirks? Hmm. I'm kind she of likes to take things from set. <laughs> <laughs> she was the queen of having a big case of water in her car, no. and you would take it oh, to the yeah. trailer. <laughs> totally. Or if you ran out of toilet paper, or you ran out of paper towels. Paper towels. You know, that was the, always great. You always brought the. You always and brought I also the had the whole uh, like every department in the production office was doing always doing Leisha a favor. Like, yeah. <laughs> the art department was like blowing up pictures and then I had like somebody building something. Then she, some, deck, then then she had someone like mixing her a special color paint yeah, that doesn't totally actually real. exist. <laughs> and the same thing happens at hotels. You use the concierge yeah, for, love it. for everything. It's a blast. <laughs> See, I, had I, had I, I had fun on that boat. I had fun on that boat when was it wasn't. The boat was fun. Sick, yeah. You the Yeah, it was a blast. Yeah, we had a blast on that boat. We did. I mean, it wasn't easy. How did you on that boat? It wasn't easy. But I remember sneaking <laughs> off. I think I had about no, I 45 minutes before I was called to set, or in between <laughs> takes or scenes or whatnot. And I and we were art. We had been docked at Key West. Yeah. Key West. Yeah. And I was able to get off the boat without like the bodyguard knowing. And I rented a bike and I went to the beach and I went swimming in the water. And I still had my costume on, but I, you know, and then, and I, but <laughs> is this we're, a dream? No, this is, <laughs> this is 100% real. I like had a bathing suit on underneath my wardrobe. And so as soon as oh they yelled cut, we have 45 that minutes. So I went to the beach, went swimming, came back. That's the best I had story. Short I've never, I've never, I've never, I had short hair. That's the best. No, I had short hair, so I just like tile dried it off. That's my makeup like, stayed on. That's like that. Right. It was so hot that like, you know, yeah, my underwear dried underneath my clothes. By the time I got to set, I'm like, all right, let's go. No one knew where I went. It was great. Oh my God. I just, I can't believe you have a bodyguard. That's we awesome. had bodyguards well, on that. Yeah. We're all the police.